I, I, I can't tell you. I am, I am so excited to share with you some of the things that we're doing um, this week. Some of the things that we have been, um, uh, quite honestly, uh, working on for uh, some of them over a year. And um, even the people here on the floor of our studio didn't know about some of these things until uh, just a few days ago. We uh, start this amazing week by rolling out Wilkow tonight. Andrew Wilkow at 7 p.m. Uh, Andrew is a guy who's on XM Sirius, and he is now the latest primetime show on the Blaze TV. Andrew joins us from our studios in New York City. Andrew, how are you? Fine, how are you? Very good, very good. Um, tonight you're starting with Rand Paul. Why, yeah. Why did Pretty you... I, I remember when I first started on CNN, and oof, that was bad. Um, I remember I, um, I was very careful what I led with because you only get one snapshot. What is it that people are going to take away from? Why would you pick Rand Paul to start? Because uh, I, I think discussing... The problems with central planning, the problems with an overburdensome, bloated government, he's the guy to go to. He was just the guy I thought would be the guy to start this program with. Um, and, um, uh, and then your next guest is? Trace Atkins. Oh, you mean tonight? tonight yes, Arthur tonight. Davis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah we're going to talk about uh, some of the language coming out of progressives, um, the chains, the, the Goebbels, the Nazi talk, the, pre, uh, the Jim Crow stuff, and how uncomfortable he has become with it and the reason why after years of being idealistic and an obama supporter some of that you know has faded over the years and why he's now a republican so i, I would like to know from him or actually from you if you have any insight on this uh, we were talking about it this weekend we can't figure out where the good democrats are i mean there's a lot of republicans who are still just as blind and uh, you know the stupid republicans that we've all you know that even i was a few years uh, uh, back but most of us have kind of said, OK, wait a minute, we suck in this, this and this. And we're not just playing a blind game. I mean, look what's happened in the Republican Party. Why is the why, why aren't there more Democrats like him that are that are stepping up to the plate? Because they've burned them all out. I was watching Bill Clinton's 92 uh, acceptance speech where he actually made overtures to moderate and conservative Democrats. He asked the Ross Perot supporters to join him. He said, we need a government that's leaner, not meaner. We can't expect the government to solve every problem with a program. And when he talked about the fair share, he used that word fair share when talking about taxes on the rich, but then he went on to say, we should have a tax system that expects them to pay their fair share, but not soak them. I don't even think Bill Clinton would recognize himself anymore after, after the speech he gave in, in Charlotte. So they've sort of, over the past 20 years, burned out all of those moderate to conservative Democrats. It's, it's not about being a, a, a person with a job anymore. It's about being the worker. It's, it's no longer about having different lifestyles. It's you accept mine, and that's it, and we're going to make it, you know, we're going to give my lifestyle the force of law. And, oh, by the way, you've done well. Yeah, well, lots of people want to do well, so we're going to take more of your money and give it to them. You, um, you know, when we first started about you doing, talked about doing a show for the uh, network, um, you said, um, you're sitting in my office, and I, I said, um, so what's, a, what's an Andrew Wilkow show look like? And you said, um, A, not like yours, although you are wearing the vest. I'm just too fat now, to fit well, in mine. You know, got, um, I got to have my own, I'm, you know, I'm, not a, I'm not a jacket and tie kind of right. guy. You know that. Yeah, so, but you said, um, you said uh, it's not going to look like uh, what you normally see on TV. You said you wanted to get into philosophy. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you mean? What does that mean? I, I really want to be able to get into those, those ideas that were put out by guys like Bastiat and F.A. Hayek and Henry Hazlitt that, you know, as opposed to uh, Marx and Engels and Alinsky, that the government is going to, and, and, you know, with good intentions, we know the government wants to solve all these problems, but there are so many consequences and ramifications that when you strip emotion away and you just get into the, the causes and effects of economics, when you delve into that philosophy of how we lose our liberty, every time the government says they're going to take care of us and do something for us, they have to do it at our expense. I'm going to remove emotion from that, and I'm just going to stick with the mechanics. You know, I, I will tell the, uh, the audience that I told you that we would never talk down to you and um, we would try to give you something different and usable. 
And I think Andrew is a fulfillment, another uh, hour of fulfilling that promise to you. It's going to be a very smart show, um, but an entertaining show uh, as well. Real quick, I've only got a couple of seconds. Can you just show us the new studio? Yeah, um, you might recognize parts of it. Yeah. Uh, we, I wanted, I wanted something that was unique to me, so I asked for something very metal, steampunk, but mm -hmm. with three monitors, so I can make point, point, point as I go, uh, because I didn't want to steal the chalkboard. Right. Um, I asked for a position to do guests that were solo and a panel. So I have this giant camshaft out of a Navy battleship that weighs 400 pounds. And my offer will always be, if you can lift it up over your head, you can have my show right. uh, with one arm. Okay. Trace Atkins might be able to do that, yes. though. This is, uh, I asked for a coffee bar looking thing. I didn't want just a desk that looked like uh, where anchors would sit. So we had this fashioned. I wanted it to look like something you might see in a coffee bar in New York City. And these two things, I have no idea what they are. Right. But they're cool. Good. I have, I have right. no idea. I'm waiting for, for maybe a Tesla arc or something to happen. But, but they're there, and I like them. So this is our set, and uh, I'm very comfortable here. I actually feel very much at home uh, standing here We've been, we've been doing so much work on getting this ready, and I, I just can't wait to get it going tonight. Well, uh, Andrew, I'm, I'm thrilled to have you on the network, and uh, I'm expecting big things. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you. All right. Um, Andrew Wilkow, um, tonight at 7 o'clock and every weeknight at 7 o'clock here on The Blaze TV. Back in a minute.